The Mandalorian dropped on Disney Plus last year and took many non- and Star Wars fans by storm. Since then, many lines from the series have become great Star Wars quotes. As we get ready for the continuing adventure of The Master Warrior when Season 2 debuts on Disney Plus on October 30th, here are 10 of our favorite standout quotes from the first season of Mandalorian that we can't just stop repeating. One of the first lines we hear that The Mandalorian utters tells us a lot about him. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. Just this line alone tells us he's willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done, but he gives his target a chance to make experience slightly more pleasant. And I mean slightly. This was the perfect line to introduce to the show because it set the tone for what was to come and gave the Mandalorian a feel of seriousness and mystery. Next to number 2 is a line when Mando was in a dogfight with a bounty hunter that was sent to kill him and take Baby Yoda back. During the dogfight, the bounty hunter says the phrase, I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. The Mando then makes a maneuver that puts him in an advantage and fires back. This line shows the Mando doesn't like people stealing his style, and he takes action when they do. So take note, bounty hunters. Coming in number 3 is the line, Weapons are part of my religion. Not only is this line immediately memorable, it's a brilliant summarization of the Mandalorians in very few words. If you know one thing about Mandalorian culture, it's probably that they are double hard warrior folk who aren't likely to back down from a fight. Most of the Mandalorians' history is fighting. Most notably was the Mandalorian War. It was a term given to the 16 years of conflict between the Mandalorian warrior culture and the Galactic Republic that began in 3976 BBY, with the Battle of Alther. Based on the Spartans, the Mandalorians preferred to let their fists do the talking, and frequently settled disputes with hand-to-hand -hand combat, but they were never far from a blaster or any kind of weaponry. From jetpack rocket launchers, wrist rockets, whistling birds, and Westar blasters, weapons are definitely part of their religion. At number 5 is when IG-11 says, I will initiate self-destruct. With the new IG droid character, IG-11, came this reoccurring line. As much as the Mandalorian mistrusts droids, he knows he needs IG-11 backing him up when the odds are against them in a blaster fight. His entreaties to keep the assassin droid in one piece are a comical respite in the heat of the heart-pounding shootout. Now the IG droid series is one of the deadliest assassin droids in the galaxy, but if the firefight gets too hot, or if the droid is concerned, it will initiate self-destruct. Many times IG-11 wants to use this feature, but Mando keeps him in line. But in the end, IG-11 had to self-destruct. But he did what he was reprogrammed to do, and that was at all costs protect Baby Yoda. Rest in peace, IG-11. Next to number six is... Come on, baby! Do the magic hand thing! <laughs> Grief is a man of practicality, but we love the playful side that the small child brings out in the guild boss. Before he knew Baby Yoda had powers, he just saw him as another bounty to collect and how he could profit from it. But after Baby Yoda showed us he was one with the Force, Grief was fascinated by him. He was like a kid rewinding a video to laugh at something. He just wanted to see him do the magic hand thing. And it was funny seeing the non-serious side to grief. Coming in number 7 is... Yes, the egg. Who knew Jawas were addicted to mudhorn eggs? The whole episode is Mando literally fighting for an egg, and the Jawas are hyper enthusiastic about it. At number 8 is... I like those odds. We learn in this tense exchange that the Mandalorian doesn't back down, not even when he's outnumbered. The line is said when Mando enters the client's office and the doctor enters the room abruptly and startles everyone. The four stormtroopers pull and point their weapons at Mando, as he does the same. Even when the Stormtrooper says he's outnumbered, Mando responds in true Mandalorian fashion, showing Mandalorians are more than matched to handle. Next to number 9 is... I have spoken. The line was repeated multiple times during the series, and it shows Quill's firm convictions and unflappable demeanor. He won't listen to any protest once he's made up his mind, not even from the Mandalorian. The line has a lot of weight to it, as it's sharp but fitting. Now Quill didn't have much to say, but when he did you could always expect a I have spoken at the end of it. And coming in at number 10 is... This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way reflects the creed of this particular Mandalorian sect, which has sworn to uphold the beliefs and ensure the way of life survives. Revealed in bits and pieces throughout the series, the resolute intonation of this mantra shows us that these Mandalorians will honor it no matter what. You can say this line is now an instant classic. It almost has the same status as the line, I am your father. Or... 
Hello there. It's a short line, but has heavy meaning to it, and you can't help but say it casually in your daily life. The Mandalorian has a lot of great lines, and I can't wait to see what Season 2 brings. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite quote from The Mandalorian Season 1. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day, and may the Force be with you.